Hello, students and team players. I'm Coach Letchworth, and today we are going to dive into digraphs. We will identify the letters and sounds of vowel digraphs in words. So let's read that learning target together. Ready? On the count of one, two, three, home run. Ready? One, two, three, home run. I can identify the letters and sounds of vowel digraphs in words. Awesome. So what are digraphs anyway? If you remember from skills block, digraphs are two buddy letters that make only one sound. Like TH says in throw, EA says E in team, and CH says CH, and OA says O in the word coach. So vowel digraphs then are two side-by-side -side vowel letters that make just one sound. You might also have heard them called vowel teams or vowel buddies, and they usually make the long vowel sound of the first letter in the vowel digraph. For example, like we just saw, EA says E in team. The two vowels OA say only O in coach. And the two vowels AY say only A in the word play. The digraphs we will be focusing on today are EA, OA, AI, AY, and OO. Remember, they're all going to say just one sound each. I'd like for you to cheer them after me. I'll cheer, I will cheer first, you repeat after me. <clears throat> it goes like this. EA says E. Cheer it, ready? EA says E. OA says O. Cheer it. OA says O. AI says A. Cheer it. AI says A. AY says A. Cheer it. AY says A. OO says OO. Cheer it. OO says OO. Did you notice that in the first five vowel digraphs we said, they all have the sound of the letter of the that comes first. They make the long vowel sound and that second sound doesn't say, that second letter doesn't say a thing. You might have heard the song, when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking, right? Not always, but a lot of the times that is the case in digraphs. If you look at the last one though, that OO doesn't make the O sound at all. It only says, ooh. Now that we have reviewed some digraphs, let's find the vowel digraphs in these sentences. See if you can spot two vowels together that make one vowel sound. Baseball is a fun team sport to play. Find the digraph, vowel digraph words in this sentence. Baseball is a fun team sport to play. You got it. Team has E-A-E -E and play has A-Y-A. -A. Excellent. Let's try another one. The pitcher aims his throw to the catcher. The pitcher aims his throw to the catcher. Where is a vowel digraph word in this sentence? Ding, ding, ding. Yes, AI says A in aims. Great. One more sentence. The fans and the bleachers are excited. The fans and the bleachers are excited. Yes, awesome job. There is an EA that says E in the word bleachers. You got it. 
Great job, team. It seems to me that now you are ready for vowel digraph baseball. Here's how to play. We want to score as many runs as possible. That's our goal. First step, listen to each word I read. Decide what the letters and sounds are for that vowel digraph. If we get it correct, our runner gets to go to the next base. If we get four correct answers in a row, we get a home run and win the game. An incorrect response doesn't mean that we lose, it just means that we don't get to go to the next base until we get it correct. So are you in? Will you help me? Awesome, let's do it. Play ball. Here we are, our runner is on home. In order to get her to first base, we need to identify the correct sound and letters in this word, clean. What is the vowel digraph in the word clean? I agree, I hear the E sound in clean, so it must be E-A, let's check it. Hooray, whoop, whoop. C-L-E-A-N, clean is correct. Let's get our runner to move on to first base. Awesome. The next word is brain, brain. Mm, you're right, I hear the A sound in brain, but we have two choices here, don't we? It's either A-I or A-Y. Not really sure, I'm gonna go with A-Y. It says A, let's give it a shot. Brain, A-Y says A. Aw, A-I was correct. Mm, sorry if you voted for that at home. And I got it incorrect. That's okay, we'll stay on first. We got another opportunity to get our runner moving, but AI does say A also. What was that? You guys just had a tip, didn't you? You just told me that AI is in the middle sandwiched between two consonant sounds. Brr, A, N. Ah, yes, so if there is the A sound in the middle of a word, it could be A-I. More than likely, it's going to be A-I instead of A-Y. You're right, from skills block, some of us did learn that A-Y is the ending sound with no other consonant on the other side, so that we know to put A-Y on the end of an A-sounding word an A-I in the middle of an A-sounding word. <gasps> Thank you for remembering that awesome tip. I'm going to try that next time. All right, our runner is on first. And here we go with the next word. It is smooth, smooth. Yeah, you remember O-O says ooh, so let's do it. O-O says ooh and smooth. Woo woo, yay. Moving on, now our runner is at second. Trying to get her to third base, here we go. The next word is toast, toast. What do you think? Yep, O-A, O-A says O in toast, I agree. Let's try it, yes! T-O-A-S-T, toast, correct. Moving our runner on to third base. Just one more play to get her home. The next word is stay. Stay. Ooh, you're right, it's tricky. It could be, could be two things, couldn't it? A-I or A-Y. But I remember the tip that you said, A, because I hear A-Y at the end of the word stay it's probably going to be A-Y. Let's say it, A-Y says A and stay. Whoop, 
whoop, whoop, whoop. Four whoop whoops for that because we have just gotten our runner all the way home. Congratulations, team. A triple play means victory. Hip, hip, hooray for you. So now let's think about our learning. Repeat the target statement with me. Ready? The I can say on the count of one, two, three, home run. Ready? One, two, three, home run. I can identify the letters and sounds of vowel digraphs in words. Amazing thinking, everybody. I want you to consider um, being vowel digraph detectives. You're going to read the text and be able to spot all of these vowel digraphs that make one sound as you read. You're going to think as you're writing, ooh, I hear a long vowel sound, or I hear the ooh vowel sound. It's probably going to be those tricky vowel digraphs, and I can now write them in my words. Congratulations on your great effort. Until next time, thinkers.